But, sir, they're traitors. Perhaps. But they're close. We owe them that. It was refreshing to see a clone commando not follow the Empire's orders for once. Although Hilo did question Wolf's final decision to let Rex and the crew go, he ultimately followed the orders of Wolf and let it go. Outside of Gregor, all of the clone commandos have been loyal to the Empire. Hilo could definitely end up still staying loyal to the Empire, but it was nice to see some sort of different dynamic when it came to the clone commandos. I know a lot of people have wanted to see a little bit more lethality and threat from the clone commandos, and so far Scorch has kind of fallen flat when it's come to his character development and just personality overall. But we are only halfway through the season, so we could get a lot more development when it comes to Commandos, especially since the finale looks to be centering around going to Mount Tantis. I'm assuming we're going to see a lot more Commandos and hopefully get some more character development from them and Scorch. With all the Commandos running around, it really does make you wonder what is going on with the rest of Delta Squad and where they're at. It's definitely felt like overall in the Bad Batch series that the clone Commandos have been like the temporary stormtrooper. I'm also curious as how long Hilo and Wolf have been working together with the Empire. Maybe they've had a close working relationship and that's how Wolf was kind of ultimately able to convince Hilo not to go after the crew. Wolf definitely had authority over every unit in that squad, all the clones, the TK troopers, and the clone commandos. I'm hoping we see more from Hilo. I'm definitely looking forward to the next episodes in the Bad Batch series. Be sure to let us know in the comments what you thought of clone commando Hilo overall and if you think you will end up ratting out wolf.